Okay. So here's something I didn't know existed. It's a Lemony Snicket on the GameCube. Who the hell knows what this is going to be like? 2004, so it's pre-widescreen. Fantastic. I know what that is. DreamWorks, fantastic. The real oh, Nickelodeon. I forgot Nickelodeon did that movie. They do everything. Gerenium. I've heard of a maze. I've never heard of a Gerenium. We're already off to an interesting start, because I don't recognize this from the movie at all. I have four of the books. My stuff? Rumble. Can I... Can I stample? No. Okay, fuck me then. World map? What kind of game is this? Create save game. Orphans at fault. Thirteenth night. Count Ola. Uh oh, Opera House. The video game you are about to play is extremely unpleasant. Great. If you are interested in casting magic spells or saving the Earth from alien invasions, yeah. you might as well stop right now. Oh, damn. If a happy ending is important to you, you would certainly be better off with something else. I, got, I game, got a library. Not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning and very few happy things in the middle. Nice. This Just is like because life. not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire children, who are Violet, the oldest, her brother Klaus, and their very young sister Sunny. You should have gotten dropped Sunny off the bridge. An age where one mostly speaks on birth. In a series of unintelligible shrieks, oh, shit. which most people had trouble understanding. For instance, Jack. <coughs> Mr. Bo, from the bank. <coughs> children. I'm afraid I must inform you of an extremely unfortunate event. He said it. He said the thing. I'm very sorry to tell you this. Your parents have perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. Yeah, that blows. Perished is a word which here means they were lost forever to everyone who loved them, and that the world had suddenly become a lonely and sinister place in which the children had to see their way. <clears throat> I know you must feel awful right now, but I have some very good news for you. As the executor of your parents' estate, I've made arrangements for you to live with your dear uncle, Count Olaf. <coughs> Consider nice. yourselves lucky children. He's an actor by trade. Generosity is rare in his profession. We don't know a Count Olaf. Well, you hello, do know. hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Olaf. Is that Jim Carrey? And welcome to my humble dwelling. Or in the words of the great French poet Ovid, Mi casa es su casa. I don't think so. Enchanté. Unfortunate. How do you do? And this must be Klaus. Ovid was Roman, and he didn't speak Spanish. And he never said that. Klaus! <laughs> what a darling child. I have it underlined. I'll show you later. Yahoo! Mr. Poe, I will raise these orphans as if they were my own. Now, where do I sign for the fortune? <laughs> I mean, uh, children. How do we get this done? <clears throat> oh, you won't officially have guardianship until the hearing Thursday morning. I see. And what am I to do with them until then? <coughs> Excuse me? Oh. Nothing? Never mind. That is Jim Carrey's uh, voice. Yes. Well, uh, I'd better be getting back to the bank. Oh, oh, can't you stay? I was going to pull out some board games, followed by face painting, and uh, make your own Sunday. <laughs> 
Well, if you must go. Well, they replaced okay, Jude remember, Law with Tim Curry. If you need anything, feel free to contact me at the bank. That's interesting. Orphans, let me show you around the house. Do I get to play now? Damn. And after all your chores are done, Ski, this is where you'll sleep, time permitting. As you can see, I've stocked the place with a multitude of jollies, knickknacks, and paddywhacks for your amusement. I find that giving is the greatest gift of all. If I had music behind me, you'd be crying right now. By the way, there's a small rat infestation problem in the house. Make yourself useful and take care of it. I do it myself, but I find rats to be deeply unpleasant. Okay. I don't know. Perhaps there's something about them that reminds me of myself. Oh. Uh. Klaus, that was a very big rat. How are we going to get rid of rats? Exterminators use traps and poisons. We don't have anything. Like many people, Violet Baudelaire was afraid of rats and didn't want to have anything to do with them. Unlike many people, she was also a brilliant inventor. Hmm. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was thinking very hard when her long hair was tied up in a ribbon to keep it out of her eye. Which is I've got an idea for oh, there we go. To do the job. I'll need a spring, a broom, a coffee can, and that boxing glove. Do, 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 do. Come on. Both Baudelaire children will be needed on this adventure. Try switching to Klaus now. Why not already have me ask Klaus? Well done. At times the children will be faced with more laborious tasks. A phrase which here means pushing heavy objects across the Oh, room. only the man can do that? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You fucking sexist pig. She's gonna do it, because she's awesome. Look at her go. But I thought, keen eyes. While jumping is only recommended for people with strong knees or insects in their trousers, let's give it a go. Stealing is a very impolite habit, <laughs> and it is something you should never, ever, ever, ever do. Borrowing, okay. on the other hand, is tolerable. Collect that boxing glove now. I'm gonna borrow the shit out of this boxing glove. Look at that boxing glove. Even the smartest person in the world can be forgetful at times. If you've forgotten what you're looking for, this list should do the trick. Okay. I see, thank you. I Once off. you feel you've spent enough time in this dreadful place, you may leave through that door. Are you going to shut the fuck up while we play the game, or...? Why is the camera fucking inverted? Who does this? What masochist does this? I can't even change that. Oh, that's bullshit. Do I have to carry this little tumor on my back the whole time? In these dark moments, when their spirits were down, one thing always made the children feel better. Memories of their late mother and father, who they missed very much. So my head meters, meters, my health meter? Interesting. Now I need a broom. It'd be easy to find a broom in this shithole. That's nice. It's a nice picture. It really ties everything together. We can't leave yet. We still have a task to complete. How the fuck do you know where the broom is, bitch? It could be literally anywhere. It could be downstairs. It could be upstairs. You don't fucking know shit. It's locked, but I can see inside. It looks like some sort of supply closet. Look at this. It's a ventilation shaft. 
Klaus Baudelaire loved books. We're gonna have to spend a little shit in there. Nothing pleased him more than spending an afternoon filling up his head with their contents. And everything he read, he remembered. I read a book about home ventilation once. From the size and age of the house, I'd say this is part of an old remote-mounted multiport system. It should connect to other nearby vents and may lead to rooms behind locked doors. Sonny, you up for a challenge? Fucking knew it. I'm gonna have to summon a little shit kid. While I personally am not a fan of small, dark spaces, Sunny Baudelaire was extremely brave for her age. Is she now? <laughs> wow. This is fucking bizarre. Oh my god. Burn the baby. Burn her! I feel like she would still get seriously injured just slamming down like that. Maybe snap her little neck. Fascinating. Funny how it was right next door, and yet I had to go through all that. All right, little shit kids on to bite things with her four very sharp teeth. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that is incredibly stupid. Sunny didn't enjoy pushing nearly as much as biting, but she would do anything to help her brother and sister. And she's fucking sweet. Thanks, Sonny. I don't, I don't need that. I'm I good. wonder what these are. Maybe we'll need them later. Are you sure about that? I found a bro. We'll start with the coffee can. That'll serve as a casing for the device. Next, we'll use the broom. It'll be the handle you hold on to, Klaus. Next up, the spring. Springs store and supply energy, which we'll be needing for sure. And last, the boxing glove. Guaranteed to deliver a solid punch. And there you have it. I call it the brilliant bopper. How does it, you know... Do you want to save? Um, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. So do you only save when you do one of those things? The f what kind of... How does this game work? It's the orphan's bedroom. Oh, R. L does nothing, but R just does this, and Z does. D centers, and so does R. Oh no, hold the holding down R goes into first person, and Z Z is the same fucking thing. Great, I'm I'm glad they got two buttons on this controller to do the same goddamn thing. You can find something better to do with L, R, and Z. If L does nothing, why does R and Z do the same thing? These are questions that I have that must be answered. You can take care of this. Right, Klaus? Oh, does she not like rats because she's a girl? <sighs> Damn. The brilliant bopper. Perfect for shaking hands with extremely large people. I'm gonna fucking smack this goddamn fuck. Where choice. is it? Will be it? Oh, almost, oh, it must have fucking hurt your soul. I'm so sorry. Hello? Stupid ass. Oh, look my hand. Where's he go, fucker? Oh, that kind of felt too good. Oh, shit. Let's find some more. Yeah, I'm thirsty for some for blood. Let's kick some ass. 
I, I literally saw a rat in here. How is there no... Fine. Fucker. The violet builds the contraptions and... Klaus uses them? Fascinating. It's a real team effort. We get it. You're a girl. Girls don't like icky things. But if you didn't like Raz, wouldn't you take pleasure in beating the fuck out of him with this boxing glove? I feel like you would. IRL. What am I being right here? No need for this now, but it could be useful later. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, fucking. What? what the... Die. Let's keep looking. Oh, we're gonna steal it. The telescope is pointing at those houses. Who's kind of luck watching? to find a key for this. I don't remember seeing a swimming pool. Okay. Oh, it's that thing. Uh, for reals? The main room. What's that? It's a telegram. To Violet Klaus and Sonny Baudelaire. Beware Count Olaf. Stop. Motives highly questionable. Stop. We are collecting evidence of wrongdoings. Help us find more. Stop. When assembled, all will be revealed. Stop. P.S. The world is quiet here. Where did it come from? It says that it was delivered by the very fast delivery service. <laughs> there are often secrets to be found when investigating the lives of the Baudelaire orphans. This will be a good place to keep track of them all. The secret area for you, okay. Okay. So there's a reason to collect those then. I like how we teleported back up top. We'll need to find a key for this. Fascinating. Oh no, this house is overrun. Yeah, Olaf's got a lot of fucking rats. Kinda of ridiculous. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Eat a dick. That's right. Dicks eat it. Firmed. Peanut consumption. Ugh. Ouch. Fucking. We should find the kitchen. I bet most of them are in there. You sure about that? That's the kitchen. Any more uh, puzzle pluses? Nope, okay, I got them all. Wait, can I literally smash the fuck out of these? Oh! Oh my god, there's... Puzzle pieces in these. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I wish there was a save...
If there's any in here. Oh yeah. A hidden room over there. Is do they respawn? If I was the game developer, I would not have them respawn because each one you destroy would technically save on memory, wouldn't it? If you just remove the asset after you break it, that seems to be the case. They don't seem to have respawned at all. I'm grateful. kitchen. Oh, there's different colored puzzle pieces. I saw that. It's upstairs. Great job, Klaus. Let's go tell Count Olaf we're finished. Do I have to? I was busy doing shit, bitch. There is a something? puzzle piece in there. There's a note over here. It's from Count Olaf. Dear orphans, your handling of the rodent matter was sufficient enough that I'll allow you to clear out the spiders as well. Deal with it quietly. I am rehearsing and will not tolerate interruption! Spiders? Big? Hairy? Spiders? Hmm. I've got an idea. I'll need a funnel, an inner tube, a fork, a fan, and our lunch. Is that your lunch? <laughs> I want to go back to the kitchen, you scumbag. Oh. Hold on. Alright, we'll, 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 we'll... What the fuck? Hold on. There we go. We'll, we'll we'll go until the next save point. We'll do we'll do the spiders and then we'll end the part. We've got the right I'm into this. Let's look around for the other items. That fork is perfect for my invention. Maybe he'll let us borrow it. Excuse me. Hey, what are you doing sneaking around? I was just going to ask if I could borrow. Can you hear me? Get lost! Did 
That's all I wanted. Like that, you little turd muffin. What's a loading? A large. Quite a gigantic fork. This isn't exactly the climate for snowshoeing. <laughs> now I gotta worry about fucking boxes too. Upstairs and check out that painting. Those spiders are particularly nasty. Particularly. They're quite a I'm sure This will come in handy later. What do I need again? Locked. I can see that. That's locked as well. I want to find this. Hey, who let you in here? Don't move. I'll show you what happens when you go sneaking around where you're not wanted. What the fuck is wrong with these people? We live here now. What is this shit? Let me explore. Mm. Oh. What the fuck? I... Me. That was it. That's all it took. That's fine. Where did I see that painting? I remember I commented on it, or I was going to, because he was like frying a little with a magnifying glass. There it is. I guess we could end it here then. Anyways, that is all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This game is actually pretty fun. Bye bye.